Right, so I'm actually recording this. Um, if you've been watching my live streams of trying to catch a shiny um, ghastly, um, it, I've just done a three hour live stream of trying to catch one. I uh, haven't even found one yet. So I've uh, put my switch on sleep and I'm taking a quick break. And this is my break time and I'm going to be just like recording the first part of this video. So, I ordered this off eBay. It is a Hori or Hori Nintendo H O R I Nintendo Switch GameCube controller. Now, this could quite possibly be the best GameCube controller of all time. I'll tell you why in a minute. First off, it's wired. And um, I, uh, the, um, I think it, it was Spawn Wave Media, yeah, Spawn Wave, Me Wave Media was showing off a GameCube controller, but it was wireless and it had um, AA batteries in it. This is wired, uh, so you, no need for batteries. Oh, and um, the GameCube controller he had was not completely analog, but not completely digital. It was sort of a mix between the two. With this completely digital and um, that is very good for the switch because you know it's more responsive than everything so yeah very nice to have a fully digital um, thing is it me or is the front this grey thumbstick smaller like let me grab my original GameCube controller here wherever it is it's probably connected to my Wii U Actually, it should be in here. If it's in there. Yeah, there it is. Found it. There we go. I haven't played Smash Bros. in a little while because I've been playing Let's Go Picture and Eevee, so. Another game, so yeah. Okay, let's just. Ah. It's all tangled up in wires. Here we go. Right. Let's compare this to the original GameCube controller. Got this one. And we have this one. Yeah! The thumbstick does seem a little bit smaller. Let me just check here. Ah. She's a bit mucky. Yeah. There we go. Um, let me see here. Actually, that seems to be about the same size. Okay. Um, so comparing the two here, um, my con my GameCube controller needs cleaning. Other than that, the C stick is shinier on the peak sh on the, the Hoi one than that one. The D pad is actually bigger. Oh, that is actually quite nice because one of my biggest complaints about the D-pad on the GameCube controller was that it was a tad bit too small. And yeah, this increases the size perfectly. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. You are apart from um, you now have L R Z R and Z and L Z and R Z, where on this you only have Z, so you have an extra Z button. You have plus minus. You have capture, you have the home button, and you ha and um, I do believe you can actually read back. Oh, there's no instructions actually. There's probably instructions on the back, but I can't read Japanese. Um, yeah. yeah, it's licensed for Asia only. Ah. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, it has little weird little symbols there. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I think according to this you can rebind buttons, so I'm guessing you can, I'll have to mess around with this in a game 
I'll have to do that once I've caught the um, what you call it, shiny ghastly. Yeah, I'll have to do. Is there a bit of hair sticking up at the back of my head? Flash a bit. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, when I ever call that shiny ghastly, I'll play around with this and I'll edit it in uh, to this video, and I'll tell you how it feels to play with. But yeah, one of my favorite things about this is you can see inside of it here, yeah. and we can actually compare this to the GameCube without taking the game without taking the either apart because um, right here, you can uh, it's be might be a little bit hard to see, but yeah, because of these being digital and not analog, um, the GameCube had like a lever kind of system here, um, but something they did keep the same here is that they have the wire wrapping around a little bit of plastic so that if this gets tugged and pulled it doesn't like um, pull it off the actual like motherboard which is actually really really nice if you um because it'll save you some money and you know it so yeah this feels like a good gamecube control i'll actually try and playing this on the wii u as well i'll, I'll um, try that as well at some point and I'll mess around with it and see what you can and cannot use this on. Um, that uh, so I'm just going to try it with different devices that have USB in, you know, USB capability. So yeah, I'll um, I'll have to do that. But for you, it'll be instantly. For me, it's going to be after I catch that shiny gas or I give up and uh, um, try and catch it another day. I don't know, but right. I've honestly. Um, I think if I can catch cat, if I can get this is a bit of a tongue twister, but I honestly think if I can catch Ghastly today, I think I'll just um et, cut the hunt off today and then just catch a hundred and a hundred and odd, a hundred and like eleven odd uh, caterpies and then try again or something like that, but. Honestly, I do not want to give this up because it was so hard to get the chain in the first place. But hopefully, I'll have at least a decent, ga normal gas lead to um, out of here. So, yeah. Right. So, um, I wanted to first. Why I'm doing this? I'm on Smash Bros. on the Wii U. Now, I'm not using the new GameCube controller that I got. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, don't say that. And also, don't be surprised if my uh, what I'm saying doesn't line up properly with uh, um, the game uh, but I'm just playing a little bit with the GameCube controller the original GameCube controller to get a feel um, no just play with it and um, remember what it's um, like to play with the GameCube controller and just play with it for a little while and then I'm going to play on my Nintendo Switch with the new one and compare how they feel. Um, it's uh, just random. Yeah, I can get it. Ow. The reason why it's my favourite controller, like I've said, in um, where I basically go through all the Nintendo controllers, is um, because it's just so nice to hold and it uh, um, feels so comfortable in my hands. Um, yeah. Alright, yeah. Um, ow. Oh, I think he's gone. No, no, he's coming back. 
Oh, now he's got it. Anyway, um, yeah, it just feels so nice to hold in my hand. Um, and the, um, the button that they out is perfect, if, especially if you uh, um, design the GameCube controller uh, in mind when you're setting up your, when you're basing your controls. And the, yeah, there's a reason why competitive Smash players have used the GameCube controller since the GameCube. It's because it is, oh, that is a nasty, just, like, hit. Anyway, um, and yeah, it does feel good. Um, yeah, it just feels good to hold and play with. I'm going to go another round with this and, it, um, you know, get uh, used to it again and I'm going to play, um, I don't have Smash, Smash Bros. as an alpha for the Switch yet so I can't play that, um, but I'll just play some counts with it. Okay, now that I've um, played a bit with the original GameCube controller, I'm going to uh, transition over to um, yeah, the new GameCube controller I just bought on the Switch. Okay, first off here, I'm going to play a little bit of Minecraft. And um, what I have noticed just from holding this is it's not... Worst bit is different. The R and L and R buttons are not the same shape, so they're not as comfy to hold, but they're, still, but they're not uncomfortable to hold. Uh, just rest your fingers there. Obviously, you still have the C pad and D pad where they were, so I like to rest my um, index fingers there. Um, and then I like to have my thumbs on the A and the uh, thumb stick, and the, the, my uh, uh, two fingers on the bottom of the. Um, Handles. Um, if you're wondering how I like to hold my GameCube controllers. Um, now benefits of using this over a regular GameCube controller. You have ZL and ZR instead of just Z. You have a minus and pause button as well as a capture button and a home button. The D-pad is a little bit bigger which is nice because sometimes you accidentally put in the wrong, 
one game pod set on the D-pad, and the, the uh, fun stick and C stick both click in, and uh, um, all of that can be very helpful because all together that's two, three, four, five, six, seven extra buttons. On top of that, you have the fact that um, the the button you have another button in the center, which if you press that and then press a button, when you press that button, you know it's a table button, so you'll press that button as fast as possible. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a lot of benefits of using this over a regular GameCube controller, and it's still wired, which is really nice because I know. Um, uh, Spawn Wave Media did a review on another GameCube controller, but that was like AA battery powered, and it's just like, no! No! Like, making anything AA battery powered now, you know, any controllers AA battery powered uh, nowadays is just ba a bad idea. Also, if you're wondering why there's um, gaps here, that's because those finishes didn't work, and I thought I'd just remove them instead of just leaving there to use up um, resources. Also for some reason I keep on wanting uh, I yeah, keep on having the buttons just around in my head so I'm just gonna go to settings controller. Thankfully with this you can actually just like um, change up uh, with Minecraft you can just like change up the controls all you want. Um, but that's just more than me thing. I don't know why, but I, I've never done it before, but recently I've just been getting the L and R mixed up with this. Killed the fish. Killed the fish. Uh, but yeah, it is nice to hold. Um, nothing, it's not like they have um, ruined the GameCube controller in any real way. Um, and I would say they've even improved it with making the L and R button digital rather than analog. Also, I'm about to get killed by this guy. And there's a creeper there. Ah, oh. oh, jeez. Um, anyway. Um. Yeah, so... It's nice to hold, just like the regular GameCube controller. And um, having the bigger D-pad, like I said, is nice because, uh, like I said, on the older D-pad, on the normal GameCube D-pad, you would, act, you know, end up accidentally pressing the wrong thing. Uh, open chat. Change perspective. Oh. Damn it, dolphins. Um, back in the water. No, back in the water. Right. Good thing I didn't really have that much on me. Ah, crap. I almost died. Ah, oh, jeez. Um. But yeah, feels nice. Buttons are very responsive. Yeah, I mean, I'll um. To, uh, uh, I'll put the control up to the screen, uh, my microphone in a minute and show how uh, responsive it is. But I can't say uh, on. Uh, wait, I have my pickaxe. Like, I was. Oh, no, torches as well. So I have them there. I am. I'm just gonna kill Perfectly fine with Minecraft. 
Man, you most controllers will work playing with Minecraft. <coughs> no offense. Um, I just want to put the hole. see some chest and uh, hop into another game. And the audio might be a bit off, but I'm not really too bad about the audio being uh, like in time with the game. It's not going to be too off. It's going to be a little bit off. Um, let's play uh, something that's a little more skill demanding. Let's have a go in Super Meat Boy. Okay. 
But yeah, plenty responsive. Um, like. Yeah, um, I'll probably do a live stream of, um, Paladins later, playing this, um, just to show how, um, good it is, and that's if I'm not too tired, because it's already five o'clock, so, yeah, uh, well, yeah, no, actually, this will be uploaded, um, later on in the week, so, yeah, I'll probably live stream of this, um, after, while well, this video's like after I've edited this video today. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully you'll uh, you've enjoyed this and uh, found it useful and I you and I would definitely suggest picking this up. Um highly suggest it actually. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.